YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, we're going to be checking out Burt Kreischer flying dildos. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. Listen, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers, and we almost there. But I need your help. So if you're watching my content, enjoy my content but you're not part of the family yet we gotta change that so smash that subscribe button and hit the bell too but uh y'all ready for this one let's run it baby let's get it let's go well, they kept her in a fucking closet are you shitting me they're like yeah the nazis were looking for her I go, the fucking nazis were looking for her how did they not put this in the movie how did the nazis not find What's going on, bro? What happened there? Best friends, the host of the Birdcast podcast. Please give it up for Mr. Bird Pressure, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I am the machine. <laughs> this brother is shirtless again. Let's run it, man. It is what it is. I'm nursing one of the worst hangovers I've ever had in my fucking life right now. So, cheers to Ari, to Comedy Central. Man's put up with a hangover, yo. <laughs> I don't read a lot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Great start. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not like a. I'm smart, but I'm not like a. Like. I'm not good with facts and stuff. <laughs> like I was talking to someone the other day, and I realized I'd always thought Anne Frank and Helen Keller were the same person. <laughs> oh my God. No. Like well into my 20s. <laughs> oh shit. You know what I found out? At the Anne Frank house. Do you have oh. any idea what I I went, okay. I backpacked through Europe when I was 22 with these four guys, three are lawyers, so I can't say their names. The other one's named Weecho. <laughs> Weecho. These guys are just fucking nerds. The whole time we were backpacking, they're like, do you wanna go to like a, the Louvre? Do you wanna see David? Do you want, we should take a class and learn about how they cut diamonds so when we get engaged, we could have, I'm like, I, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? We should, we're here to bang Swedish chicks, that's it. Like, are you out of your minds? And then one day they're like, hey, do you wanna go to the Anne Frank house? And I lit up, I was like, fuck yes. And they're like, wow, you seem really excited. And I was like, no, we'll get a bag of weed and we'll laugh our dicks off. Oh my God. And they're Bro. like, really? I go, yeah, I've been hearing jokes about this girl my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> we get a high, put a plunger in the toilet. <laughs> and they're like, what? what? I go, do you get to go into the house? And they're like, yeah, you can go see the closet they kept her in. I go, they kept her in a fucking closet? <laughs> Are you so lost? They're like, yeah, the Nazis were looking for her. I go, the fucking Nazis were looking for her? <laughs> How did they not put this in the movie? Oh, How did the Nazis shit. not find <laughs> <laughs> So I get excited. I get a bag of weed, and I'm like, oh I can't wait my to go to God. <laughs> I'm like beaming. I'm so pumped up. <laughs> On our walk, to the Anne Frank house in Amsterdam, we pass by a sign that says, live sex, live sex, live sex, flying dildos. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, suck a silent dick, Anne Frank. <laughs> he says, suck a silent D? Bro, <laughs> zero filter. Live sex, live sex, flying dildos. <laughs> 
And I'm like, all right, suck a silent dick, Anne Frank. <laughs> We're going to see flying dildos. <laughs> we can, well, you're gonna, what are you going to pick? Culture or the Anne Frank house? I'm going with culture. <laughs> oh, shit. So I get us tickets. We all go in. Has anyone ever been to a live sex show? One guy in the back. Perfect. <laughs> it's aggressive. It's a lot creepier than you'd ever think. See, here's the problem with a live sex show. Uh, every show you go to elicits a response. When you come to this show, you know to laugh. When you go to see music, you get inspired. But when you go to a live sex show, the only response is to creep people out. <laughs> it's just like, oh, maybe I'll get hard. <laughs> so we go in, we sit down. It's as intimate as this. And we light a joint. Get to know some of the other fellas, like-minded gentlemen. <laughs> First woman comes up, no fanfare, no, no intro music, not even that hot. She's like a sex show six. <laughs> comes up, she definitely has another job. Like, trust me. It's this intimate. It needs to be, it, we are this close, and she just starts oil rigging herself. Just, wham. now, listen, I'm not big into foreplay, but total lack of foreplay looks a lot like assault, okay? <laughs> and she is going to town, and we're making the same look, just, oh, which she confuses for, oh, I guess they can't see, and just goes back to performing her gynecological exam on herself. <laughs> now, I have a problem with silence, so I immediately start talking to her. <laughs> Oh my God. And I'm like, do you speak English? She's like, no. And I was like, fuck. Uh, you're doing a really good job. <laughs> like, he complimented oh, her. And I go, do you do flying dildos? And she's like, no. And I was like, oh, great. Five minutes, five minutes she does this. Five minutes just goes to town on herself. Just, I guess, a gra by the end, we're like, uh, we're like now it's uh, we're learning shit about the woman's anatomy. <laughs> like, that's her urethra, I think. That's amazing. <laughs> she gets done. We give her a golf clap. Uh, <laughs> two girls come on stage, and now if this girl was all song, no dance. These girls were all dance, no song. A lot of foreplay. You can't walk backwards in a story. Like I had to stop and go, ladies, ladies. We just watched a woman fist herself. Like. Let's cut to the pink meat, okay? Like, <laughs> what, they, they're like making out and dying, and now I'm the spokesman. Someone's like, can you get them to hurry it up? And I'm like, sure. I go, do you guys do flying dildos? And they're like, no. I was like, okay, next. And they're like, huh? Oh, we're shit. Like, we're good. We're, we've seen what you have to offer. They leave. Then, <laughs> it's guys an a guy and a girl come out. Now, this is where it gets creepy. I'm not a huge feminist, but I believe in women's rights, okay? And this guy just starts doing crowd work. He's not even incorporating her in. It's like an improv team where she sits off to the side like fucking one of Jeff Dunham's dummies, just. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you guys. This, um, by the way, this is exactly what it feels like. I want you to feel it. You guys ready to see me fuck, huh? <laughs> no way. You want to see me fuck this shit, man? I fucking good. It's creeping me out, and it's assaulting my morals. <laughs> and I lean over to my friends, and I go, oh, we, we should have just gone to the Anne Frank house. <laughs> Which pisses this guy off. He goes, oh, don't bring up Anne Frank in this room, man. And I go, well, I fucking wish I was Anne Frank right now, so I didn't have to see this. <laughs> And then he starts oh, arguing shit. with me, but he's arguing with me and getting his dick hard. Like, <laughs> like it's such an, like he's like pulling it going, oh man, don't worry, it gets big. I'm like, not on my watch, it doesn't. <laughs> and I start heckling his dick. I'm like, think about your mom. And he's like, hey, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> I go, do you have any sisters? He's like, hey, not now, man, not now. I go, we, get, we should just go to Anne Frank. And he's like, fuck you. And he storms off. And now the lunatics are running the asylum and I'm their fucking leader. I'm, their, <laughs> I'm like the Rosa Tubbsman. Not fucking Rosa Tubbsman. God damn it. By the way, I am neither Rosa Parks or Harriet Tubman. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh my God. Right now, right now in heaven, Rosa Parks. Harriet Tubman, Helen Keller, and Anne Frank going, what the fuck is this guy doing to our names? <laughs> Helen Keller's like, <laughs> Oh my God. I'm there, Rosa Tubman. I'm fucking, I'm leading the show, fucking. If I did, if you didn't think I was 
was stupid when I started this story? <laughs> you said Rosa Tubman, bro. I'm leading the charge. And I'm like, I'm fucking pulling out old high school chants. Like, we put our hands up high, our feet down low. We want flying dildos, fly. Hey, dildos, fly. Hey, dildos, hey, fellas, yeah. Hey, fellas, yeah. We want, yeah, flying dildos, yeah. <laughs> They Yo, send my out some hurt, bro. Us down and we boo her off stage. We're like, get the fuck out, bitch. We only want. <laughs> oh my god. Flying oh dildos. My you god. heard us. No. Then this. Okay. Then. Yo. Oh shit. Yo, this is somebody's job, bro. And and this is what's going on. They can't go on stage, do their thing, bro. Oh my god, this is brutal. Dildos. You heard us. Now then this. Okay. Then, let's fucking kill this beer. I'm hitting it hard as fuck. <laughs> woman comes out. German woman, six feet tall, thigh high leather boots, biker's cap, medicine bag. Pops it on the stool and goes, gentlemen, please, calm down. I am flying dildos. And the place goes fucking bananas. <laughs> it looks like the control room in NASA when Apollo 13 landed. Like, oh, we did it! We did it! <laughs> she goes, stop. I will need the one volunteer from the audience. And these assholes look at me like, you're up, numb nuts. <laughs> no! I fucking get up on stage, and I am so excited that I've brought about change. I feel like I've accomplished something in my life. I'm literally looking at my constituents like, you said you wanted change. I, I, I didn't say that, probably, but <laughs> I was like, fuck, <laughs> whatever I said. I'm Rosa Tubbsman, and <laughs> I don't even realize her putting a handcuff on me. And when the second one goes on, I go, hey, maybe we should talk about how flying dildos works. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm in the dark on this one. And she does not have like happy eyes look on her face and sweeps my legs in like a karate kid move, just zoom, and I land hard. I land oh so hard I knock the God. wind out of myself. Now let me tell you something about when you knock the wind, that's a real fucking noise. Just Hey. <laughs> it is so real and real respects real when you hear that you're like oh fuck hey. she tears my pants off me and my dick pops out of my boxers unprepared gentlemen <laughs> I look at my best friend Weicho and I go poke it back in he's like I will not be doing that and then the air is removed out of the room and I hear some guy go fucking do it and I'm like what? I look up, this woman is straddling my face with a 12 inch black dildo and excalibers it into my mouth. Yo! <laughs> Gentlemen, you have a game time decision to make. What do you do in that situation? Do you, you personally can't. close your teeth and hope to block the shot? Right, right. Could lose your front canines. <laughs> or do you acquiesce and open up? and let her go yard in your jaw. <laughs> I chose the latter. She went eight inches into my throat, just <laughs> Now I'm gagging, the wind's knocked out of me, my dick's popping out, I'm wiggling like the very last unicorn. Bro, this is bad. And she looks at the guys and says, gentlemen, get your cameras and line up to get a picture with flying dildos. These turncoats. <laughs> right up like they're meeting the fucking queen. They're like, oh, I can't wait. And everyone takes a picture with me. <laughs> the point of my story, the reason I told it to you, <laughs> is if you, if you ever go to Amsterdam, just go to the Anne Frank house. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, this was brutal, bro. Holy shit. Second, first of all, don't leave your shirt <laughs> before you leave. Second of all, did you ever go to the Anne Frank house? Oh, yeah. So, I was a, <clears throat> I was a little rattled after the whole Flying Dildos experience. And, uh, but all the guys in the room thought I was the greatest guy ever. It was like killing in a comedy club. And they, I could walk out and they're all, it's three football players from UCF, three French Canadians, 
a dude from Tennessee and a guy from Australia and, and my four friends, and they're like, we would do anything with you. And I was like, well, I could use some cheering up. Let's go to the Anne Frank house. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, uh, It's not a cheering up plan of place. <laughs> it gets so much worse. <laughs> Highest giraffe pussy. <laughs> and going to the Anne Frank house, and all I'm doing the whole time is telling Helen Keller jokes. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like leaning up to him, going like, you know she had a dog, right? And they're like, really? <laughs> How do you know so much about Anne Frank? <laughs> I'm like, he ran away. And they're like, he ran away? I was like, well, you would too if your name was. <laughs> <laughs> we go into the kitchen, and I'm like, oh, here's where she burned her fingers. And they're like, what? <laughs> Yeah, she tried to read her waffle iron. <laughs> and this lady in front of us... <laughs> this, Bro. Mind you, I'm high as fuck, this lady... No one is going to tell you, like, that's not the right person. <laughs> lady turns around and goes, are you making Helen Keller jokes? <laughs> are you, oh, are you, shit. I realized at that moment that we're not in Helen Keller's house. <laughs> Then we're in the Anne Frank house, and I don't know who the fuck she is. <laughs> oh, shit. And these guys see it in my eyes, and 12 dudes fall apart as high as fuck in a Holocaust museum. <laughs> and that is the best laugh you can have is when you're not supposed to laugh, when you're like, yeah. dude, dude, dude. And I'm putting all the pieces together like, oh, I think I was thinking of Ann Sullivan. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the wrong one. I go, what happened to this girl? And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> she didn't invent Braille. <laughs> she didn't invent Braille. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's nice, Yo, this brother is hilarious. Holy shit. Let me know in the comments what is next from Burt Kreischer. And I get to it ASAP. But yo, I'm going to end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, utero MVP, baby. No cap. If you enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.